Hey guys, well we're back on the tracks again today. It's uh, Saturday and uh, I don't know what date it is. Saturday, October something. Thing. So we're going to do the two-story cave circuit, 1.3 kilometres, and then we're going to go back and do the fern pool, 3.4 kilometres. So we'll just head up onto the track now, and uh, we'll show you something when we got something to see. We've just got up to halfway up one of the hills, or um, probably not even halfway, but you can see these massive big boulders here. There's like a little cave in there, so you can imagine animals and that taking refuge in there if it was stormy or that. I don't know whether you can see it right on the top up there. Little stags growing out of the rock. Bloody beautiful. Just massive big boulders that have broken away off the cliff face up there. It's just awesome. So up there you can see along the ridge line there the big cliff face little holes in it everywhere, probably where rock wallabies and that of bats and all sorts of things have got their homes. We'll go up and have a look at a bit more. Sure. Um, There's a big old tree that's come down across the track here and they've sawed her up just to get her out of the road. It feels a bit hard to be cedar, more like a some sort of iron bark or something. We'll get going a bit further. Okay, we just sort of made it up. We've walked up this track here, and uh, look at these cliff faces here. So you look up there at the end of the stick. It's great big elk or staghorn growing there. And then you got this ravine up in here. And then up there there's another little stag. I'll see if I can get a photo with my other camera. I'll put it up on the screen. We just walked up here into a little cave here. And you can see something's been up in here. It's little flies. It's nice and cool in here actually. So if you wanted to get out of the heat Probably a good place to rest. Look at the view out there. I can camp just here. We'll go a bit further down here and I'll just show you these uh, rock faces down here. It's pretty beautiful, isn't it? There's more elkhorns and and he's just walking up between these two rocks here that nicely just apart so we can walk between them. Very convenient. Oh look at this one up here. This must be the cave, is it? I don't know what it is. It two story cave? No. Don't know whether it is, but well. Just unbelievably nature. So we'll walk up into this little cave here. And we'll show you around. Well, just <laughs> so natural, but you would have swore someone would have dug this out, but it's just natural. It's like a Big, crap. big grotto. Hey, Dan, go holy crap! Look at this. Wow. Far out. There's a great big crevice. You wouldn't want to fall off the top of the cliff down here. Just awesome. 
I hope you're enjoying this. We are. We'll keep going a bit further. I'll just show you one last look back there. Anne's found another one down here. It's just with the, the yeah, look, look rocks of split. And it's like the rocks are split off the face and then they've dropped down and then other ones have wedged between them and sort of holding them apart. And then you've got you have to, you have to wonder how many hundreds of thousands of tons are just teetering there. There's another little cave down here. Come on, Ray. Look at this. I'm in Annie's camera right here. She's taking photos. It's just everywhere you turn your head, there's something to see, like. Over on the other side of the road there, there's great big cliffs just everywhere. I'm just going up here, I can see a sign. We'll head up here. So we haven't got to a two-story cave yet. So that little one we seen back there was hopefully nothing. And we got King Orchid Crevice, so we'll have a look at that. I think it's just here. Wow. Look at this. Man, you gotta get out here. So Kenny Gorge is well worth the visit. So we can actually walk into this crevice we were showing you around the other side there. I don't know if I want it's so cool in here. Like, I mean, it's cool, looks cool, but, but look at that little rock just up there. It looks like it's teetering ready to fall down. Another big rock up in there. Just holding them all apart. We'll go up a bit further. Yeah, so you can walk out here. Wait, look at that up there. Just, wow. Sun's just going behind the cloud there now. go up here and have a look so down there is where we walked out of that cave and we showed the shots up into here and you got all the elk and stags and there's those rocks and there's any there taking a photo just beautiful okie doke we'll head on to the next two-story cave don't forget to tell me what you think about these videos if you want to see more and uh, give them the big thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching awesome place let's get on with it they have signs up saying not to okay we're just at another little cave here um, there's no signs up to say that you can't record here because it's a special um, like site for the indigenous people. I just thought I'd just show you up here. So, I reckon it's modern day. Not sure whether that's modern or old, but I'll just go down the back here. And you can see the cave goes right down in the back there. And then there's another one up to the left there and another one up even further left so probably get water running down through here when it's in the wet season but uh, just an awesome little spot 
I'm just about to sort of follow the track to a two-story cave. Hi guys, we've just done the walk to King Orchid Crevice and to Two Story Cave. Fantastic spot, that um, gap in the uh, mountain we walked through there with Annie and then looking into that crevice was just unbelievable. I don't think the camera will really pick up the size of all those rocks and how high it was. Like looking up, it was just awesome. So well worth coming to, like as I said, we're staying at um, Kenya Gorge, Kenya Gorge Bush Retreat, um, not at the Big Four. Um, there is a Big Four down the road if you want to go there, a little bit closer to the dam there, but um, they're both probably great spots. I know the one we were at's fantastic, got everything you need, swimming pool, great camping area, um, washing machine, toilet, showers, really good, people are friendly. So mm -hmm. get out there, have a look at it. Um, I'm making a couple of videos in this series as in the walking trails at Kenya Gorge because um, it took us three days to walk them all. Um, we were walking anywhere from 6 to 12 kilometres a day. Um, but once you get into the forest, they're really um, covered up like you're in the shade. It, could, it was 33 degrees in some days, but when we were down, especially when, when we did the last day, which is the next video coming up, we had the first video where we went to the giant's chair walking up that hill which we did back the front they reckon you should do it any clockwise but we did it clockwise but uh not to worry walked up the hill we got to walk down again so really worth watching thanks for watching i hope you're enjoying this leave any comments if you want to know anything else um holiday's been great we've got we're going to uh Novell park um next once we leave here but um, I'll show you that a little bit down the track in a few future videos. And um, hit that like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And um, we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.